This is Marie with Bria Reese. Today, I'm going to be using our awesome metallic watercolor creams to paint a really fun sunflower that I'll also show you how to draw. Our watercolor creams are available online and also in Target stores. They are also non-toxic, water-soluble, and highly pigmented. Along with the watercolor creams, I'll also be using our black alcohol marker. You can also use a regular permanent marker. I'll also be using a size 8 brown brush, as well as a piece of 9 by 12, 140 pound watercolor paper. Now I've already drawn out a light sketch of my sunflower, and now I'm going to go over it with the alcohol marker. The alcohol marker is permanent, and I can watercolor over it after. First, I'll start with about a two and a half inch circle. And then I'll create another circle inside of that one with more of a dotted line. Now I'm filling in the outer circle with tiny C shapes, lots of different ways, and some small circles. We want this part to be darker than the center. Now, just lightly dot the inside circle. Next, the petals. These should be approximately the same length as your outer circle, not smaller or bigger. It makes it easier if you work in sections, first adding one, then going back and adding more, and filling in the empty areas to create a really full sunflower. Then you can add a thick stem and leaves. Now it's time to paint. Starting with cadmium yellow, I'm basically going to lightly color all of the petals. Now, filling my brush with water, I'll paint all the petals to spread the cream color. You'll notice it will get darker and brighter. Next, while it's still wet, I'm just going to add a line of orange to each of the petals. When I add a bit more water, it will easily blend the yellow and orange together, and it will also add some dimension to our petals. Now for the center, I'll be using copper. I'm going to add it to just the outer circle. When I add the water, I'll pull the color into the center, leaving it lighter there. I'll also add a tiny bit of yellow to the center as well. Finally, cobalt green for the stem and leaves. I want the underside of the leaves to be darker, so I'll add just the cream here and pull the color in with water for the tops of the leaves. Now we have a lovely shimmery metallic sunflower. Finally, I'm gonna add a bit more detail to my petals with my permanent marker. You can start with just two short lines coming from the bottom of the petal and going up. You can also add more as you go.
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial with our metallic watercolor creams. Thanks so much for liking this video and subscribing to our channel.